What's up guys? This is going to be a little unboxing and setup slash tutorial on how to unlock the HD0 Freestyle V2 video transmitter. So we're going to get this thing set up on a drone. We are going to unlock its maximum output power for you guys. And we're going to show you how to just quickly set this up and no hassle, get it done so you guys can get out and fly your wonderful long range or freestyle builds at maximum output power with this wonderful VTX. And here is the transmitter itself. Uh, here's the UFL, the keypad port if you don't want to use smart audio. And as well as that, we have the firmware flashing port. And this plug has standard uh, pinout for most HD0 slash DJI uh, compatible flight controllers. Yeah, right here we have the cable, standard uh, DJI pinout. A spare cable, I don't know what that's for, we don't need that. First things first, to get this set up, get our tiny screwdriver. We're going to need to take these off so we can access that MIPI. The first step to unlocking this VTX is installing the unlock firmware from the HT0 official website. Now before you do this, just make sure you have one of these cables. What you're going to do is you're going to flash it to the VTX just like you do any other uh, firmware update, except this is not a firmware, this is only an unlocking file. And all you have to do is grab your SD card, and you're going to flash the unlocking file, which I will leave a link to in the description of this video, uh, to the root directory of this SD card, just like any other firmware update. Now that we've got our, our file for unlocking the VTX flashed onto this SD card, we're just going to insert it into the goggle and get these booted up so once you have your goggles booted up just navigate down to the firmware tab open it and select update vtx and before you do that just make sure it's plugged in so you can get it updated so you'll see the red led turn on and press update vtx and then that'll say success after it's been flashed. And it'll give you a little beep. And now just unplug that. And our next step is to get the firmware file for the VTX Freestyle V2 installed on this SD card and replace the old main file. Um, and now we're going to use this included cable to get hooked up to our drone. Grab this end, just like that. So I'm going to put this on a 7-inch quad. It's in a little bit of a rough shape. Don't worry about it. You can see here we have our DJI port on our Hobbywing uh, VTX. I mean, no, our Hobbywing flight controller. We're just going to get in now. Make sure you're holding it so you can see the LEDs on the side. We have red and blue. And plug it on in. And as soon as you do, you'll see three flashes and then no more flashes. So now there's no more flashing. It's unlocked. It's ready to go. Unplug it. So we're going to flash the actual firmware onto the VTX. Now we have our VTX fully unlocked and it's ready to go. So we're going to get it all hooked up in this drone. All right. So now that's all set. Let's get it turned on screen here you can see it's working properly and see we're not able to access max power I save and we can see right here and it's going to maximum so we're all set here it's working properly you're good to go happy flying